Next up, we're gonna do a short assessment that sounds like this. On an open ah. Uh, 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 uh. Hi, I'm Camille Fun a singer and voice teacher with 30 Day Singer, and I love working with beginning singers. Today, I'm walking you through a typical first voice lesson. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button. It'll really help us out. First up, we'll take a short vocal history. What singing experience do you have? Have you had lessons in the past? And if so, what did you learn? What did you like and dislike about those lessons? Do you play any instruments? Most importantly, do you have any health issues or vocal health concerns? Although it doesn't happen often, I will recommend you first get checked out by a laryngologist if you have symptoms that indicate vocal injury. I am not a doctor or a speech therapist, and if that's the care you need at this time, that comes first. Lastly, I want to know if you have any specific concerns or goals. And while it's okay to have the general goal of overall improvement, it's really helpful to share what your specific goals are. That could be strengthening your voice, eliminating strain when you sing higher, auditioning for a school musical, learning to harmonize. I want your lessons, even if we only have one lesson together, to support your goals for yourself. My number one goal as a teacher is your vocal health and longevity. I want to equip you to sing the songs you love and to continue your vocal development on your own. Most of us cannot afford consistent lessons with a private teacher, so it's very important to me that you understand what we're working on and know how to apply what you learn in your individual practice. Next up, we're going to do a short assessment that sounds like this. On an open ah. Uh, at this point, I assure you that it's normal to crack at some point. Cracking is not a failure. Where and why you crack gives us valuable information to help you, so please don't apologize if your voice does something funny. And please sing along as you're able. If you have a lower voice and can comfortably match this pitch, that's D3, start here. Voices, go ahead and join here. You're starting on A flat three. Uh, low voices, you're still in. Everyone. Uh, If you're still making sound, keep going. Just because you crack, that doesn't mean you stop. If you're making sound, you're still in it.
Based on that assessment, we'll continue with some exercises to address whatever your biggest issue is. I'll list some of the most common ones with exercises that work for most people. First, issues matching pitch. So matching pitch would sound like this. If you're off in any way, okay? If you're struggling to match the pitch of the piano or of my voice, I'll meet you where you're at and I'll play that pitch on the piano. So if you're singing, uh, I'll find it on piano. I'll then teach you how to use a virtual keyboard and a chromatic tuner to practice pitch matching on your own. Second common issue, a weak chest voice. If your lowest pitches sound like ah, ah, instead of ah, we'll do exercises that include speaking on pitch. Some of my favorites sound like ah, 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 like you're telling a little kid ah, 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 ah or go, 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 go. Third common issue, shouting for high notes. If you're yelling as you sing higher, like, ah, we're first gonna find your head voice function to give you another way to approach those notes. Woo, woo, woo. Then we might try exercises that take you from low to high on a slightly dopey sound to override that tendency to shout. Something like, or depending on how that's going, we might add a little intensity back into the mix on a syllable like one, 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 one. Fourth common issue, flipping into head voice. If you flip or crack like this, We're usually gonna use bratty sounds like nay, 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 or pouty exercises like why, 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 why. Nasal exercises like this can be really helpful in finding strength without getting shouty. Last, we'll work on a section of a song together. Typically, that process involves going back and forth between the melody and exercises, removing the lyrics to sing on a warm-up syllable, and learning vowel modifications to sing with more power and ease on tricky lyrics. What would you like to see more of? Let us know in the comments. Visit 30daysinger.com for easy step-by-step -step singing lessons.